All right, so we're going to be going to uh, we're going to be taking test number seven today: energy uh, over the T six point seven AB, which is resources and conservation. We're going to go ahead and get started. Number one, which is one of the disadvantages of using fossil fuels as an energy resource? Is it A? There are no disadvantages to burning fossil fuels. B. Fossil fuels make lots of heat energy we can use to make power. C. The heat released during combustion can be used to produce electricity. Or D. Fossil fuels took millions of years to form and are non-renewable. Number two. Why are oil and gas and petroleum considered to be non-renewable resource? A. They form within Earth. B. They are hard to mine and transport. C. They are very cheap. D. They are used up faster than they are made. Number three. Which of the following responses best explains how fossil fuels form? Is it A. Buried plants and animal remains are exposed to heat and pressure and slowly turn into fossil fuels. B. Fossil fuels form by rain from global warming. C. Rocks are exposed to heat and pressure and slowly turn into coal, oil, or natural gas. Or is it D? Fossil fuels are made by humans at a factory. Number four. What are the advantages of using resources such as geothermal energy, solar energy, and hydropower? Is it A? They are in the form of fossil fuels. B. They come from energy sources that are considered renewable. C. They add to the percentage of greenhouse gas on Earth. Or D. They produce large amounts of energy from burning fuels. Number five is a question that's going to test your skill set to read a graph, and then specifically a, a pie chart. So according to the chart from above, what is the highest category for water usage in the home? Is it A, leaks? B, laundry, C, toilets, or D, showers. All right, number six. Which of the following would be considered a natural resource? Is it A, trees, B, glass, C, steel, or D, concrete? Number seven. Which activity would be part of a logical plan for people to manage energy resources at home? Is it A, the city would install a recycling center? B, drive below the speed limit on roads? C, turn off all lights that are not in use? Or D, burn trash instead of using a garbage service? Number eight. Which of the following is an example of a way that a school can reduce the amount of electricity the school uses? Is it A, install automatic faucets in the restrooms? B, recycle aluminum cans and plastic bottles in the cafeteria? C, turn off computers in the computer lab when they're not in use? Or D, collect food waste and create a compost pile for a school garden? Now questions number nine and 10, they're gonna use this graph right here, this table. So according, number nine, according to the chart above, during a seven minute shower, using a four gallon per minute shower head, you will use how much water? Is it A, 10 gallons? B, 20 gallons? C, 14 gallons? Or D, 28 gallons? Number 10, let's say you typically take a 10 minute shower using a six gallon per minute shower head. How much water could be saved if you switched to a two gallon per minute shower head and only took a seven minute shower? Would you save A, 60 gallons? Would you save B, 14 gallons? Would you save C, 46 gallons? Or would you save D, 18 gallons? Now feel free to go back over this test, look at any questions, take your time. If you have any questions, raise your hand, and good luck.